start with you three things. Three things that will make you think more logically when it comes to finances. Watch this whole video to the end. It ain't going to be long. Number one, give God the first fruit if you're a believer in Christ. That's the first thing. Actually, this money belongs to him anyway. It don't belong to you. It don't belong to me. Everything in this world belongs to God. Of course, Satan is running this world right now. But when Jesus comes back, it's going to be a different story, buddy. But right now, God is the creator of all. He's the creator of me. He's the creator of you. He's the creator of your money. Why not let him be the creator of your finances? Get your finances in order. Number one, give God his fair share, your first fruit. Because look, if you sow a harvest, you will reap a harvest. If you sow poorly, you will reap poorly. If you don't sow at all, you will not reap no benefits at all. Number two, invest in yourself. Before you go out and spend money on those bills, pay yourself first. You have to invest in your health. You have to invest in your uh, your uh, wealth. So invest in yourself first, your health and your wealth. What I mean by investing in yourself, if you have a check that comes in, right? Give yourself just enough to where you feel comfortable. Like, okay, I'm worth 20 bucks. I will give myself 20 dollars out of this whole paycheck if you feel like you worth that do it and then pay these other businesses guys a lot of people seem to fail not pay their not pay their sales first you gotta invest in yourself you gotta you gotta make it be your worth you gotta say okay i'll pay myself you're gonna start feeling happy your mindset is gonna change you're gonna start feeling much appreciated about yourself it's about yourself guys that's number two. Once you feel more appreciated about yourself, then you're going to be like, OK, I feel good. I can work. I can work. I can continue to work. I, I want to buy this for myself. I want to go and get this for myself. I need uh, new shoes to wear to work or to wear at home. Invest in yourself first, guys. A lot of people fail to realize that. Number three. Number three plant a seed. What I mean by plant a seed is give back. Give back. That's planting a seed. Because if you plant a harvest, you will reap a harvest. If you plant stupidly, you will reap. You will reap pridefully because you will want it back. Don't do that, guys. Don't do that. Give your money back to the community. Do I say give all your money? No, don't give. Don't go out and get a check and say, pay yourself 20 bucks and give the rest to the community. And then, oh, I don't have enough to pay my bills. No. Give something back to the community. If you go and sow ten dollars, five dollars or say, hey, I felt that God led me to give you this. I felt that I need to donate in your ministry. I felt that I need to send you a cash app of 20, 50, 100, 200, whatever you feel in your heart to give, you will reap the benefits. You ever heard the saying, what goes around comes around? Everybody said it. Everybody heard the saying, everybody said it. What goes around comes around, which is true. What goes around comes around. But in the biblical principle, you will reap what you sow. So make sure you sow good seeds. That way you'll produce good fruit. You'll produce a good harvest. If you sow one seed, you're going to produce another seed, maybe two seeds. If you sow a whole full harvest, you're going to reproduce more than a harvest, beyond a harvest. The Bible says 10 times 10 or 100 fold. Imagine those numbers right there. Imagine those numbers that you invest. Start giving back, guys. It ain't going to hurt you. If you're still healthy and you're still breathing and you're still working, you still got hands and feet to work, give back. Sow seeds into the community so you will reap the harvest. You know what a lot? If you give back, you're going to be, when you become rich and wealthy and you give back, you're going to become a philanthropist. A philanthropist. I can't even say it. Philanthropist. Because that means you're giving a lot and you're happy on doing it. The Bible says, if you give and you're happy on giving, then you will be happy on receiving. You're going to receive 
happy. You're going to receive. I'm saying, I can't even speak. You're going to receive tenfold. Be a cheerful giver, the Bible says. Be a cheerful giver. I just want to share that with you guys. Because a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people feel like they got to clinch on to that money. Because that's all they got. I got to. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't let this money go. I got $100 left to my name. I can't. I can't. I can't. Don't start saying you can't. You can't. Start saying you can and you will. Do the opposite. For you to get out that generational curse, do the opposite of what you're doing. If you clinch it onto that $100, don't. Do the opposite. Say, I felt led to give this $100 to somebody. Or I felt led to pay more into my church. Or I felt led to bless this person. Or I felt led to buy myself some shoes for work. I felt led to buy the person that's next to me some shoes for work because he's looking for shoes just like me. Like I said, guys, if you reap a harvest, you will sow a harvest. I just want to share this with you guys. I know this is touching somebody. And if it's not, fine. But I want to share this financial situation of these three things. First, give God what belongs to him as a believer. Second, invest in yourself. Third, give back to the community. Thank you and I got thank you and God bless you. I love you guys.